How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you guys can see, the deal we've got the daily SBC that we are getting right now. Not the challenge puzzle SBC, the player SBC. And as you can see, it's Christian and Saldi. And if you were in my stream today, you would have known, or you would know, I got this spot on. Basically, I thought it would be a strong link into Lataro Martinez and a strong link into the sent back from Atlanta. That is a silver, silver star. I believe it would have done that. And I was spot on. And Saldi, Serie A, Argentinian right back that links strong links into Lataro Martinez. If you want to see a Lataro Martinez review next, you know what to do. You bring that like, you smash that like, you subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here. And make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Stay tuned to every single foot freeze review that we do do on the channel. So lads, basically, and Saldi will be playing right back. I'm not going to play him in any other position. But I feel like he can play in other positions. A right mid in a 3-5-2. I reckon he could play that position. I reckon he could be a adept at centre-back. But he doesn't really have the strength. So uh, CDM... I reckon he could play really well as a CDM. As an outside box-to-box -box midfield, he would do well. It's just the finishing category which would let him down. So I do see him as a versatile player. Now, he's got a five-star weak foot. Five-star weak foot on this card. High to high work rates and four-star skill moves. So again, that's that's a bonus right there. What, what was the weird thing? Because he is preferred for right foot. Uh, the weird thing was about this card is that he elected to use his left foot when he was running to the byline. So he kind of awkwardly prodded it with the outside of his left foot, which alternatively made him lose the ball in certain situations, which I did not like about the cards. He's 5'11", good height. He's got good jumping on him, I do believe. So anyways, as you're about to see, uh, by his in-game stats, I think it's 79, but with an anchor chem style, it's boosted by 10 to 89. So as you can see, in 1, 2, 3... There we go, his in-game stats. Uh, it looks really good, from the acceleration to the sprint speed, both 87 a piece plus five on both of those in the category with an anchor chem style. That, that is the chem style I would suggest for this card as well. Definitely, definitely go with anchor. Um, 72 attack and position, 74 shot power. He's got nothing in the finish category really to say that he'll be a good uh, like sh shooter of the ball or anything like that. Uh, 70 long shots potentially, but that's about it. Volley 69 too. Uh, in terms of passing, Great for a fullback on this game and great for wing play on this game. So that's what I'm saying. If you're using the 3 5 2 as a right midfielder, you could definitely thrive from having him whip balls in the box, pass it across the box. You know, the wing play, which is very, very good with Ansaldi. Uh, it's got 82 vision, 89 crossing, he's got 86 short pass, 83 long pass, and 87 cube. So that's definitely, definitely beneficial to the card. Got the Manchester Derby on in the background right now. It's actually nil nil. It's been one of the most boring games of the season. When it comes to dribbling, it's got 84 in total, but for right back, this is sensational. Uh, 85 agility, 82 balance, 81 reactions, 83 uh, ball control, 84 dribbling, and 83 composure. So again, uh, really stacked in the dribbling category, for especially for right back as well, as you've got to remember, he is a right back. And he's defending, not too shabby either, and this is why I put an anchor chem style, because it basically maxes out a lot of different stats in this category, especially the stand tackle and slide tackle. Interceptions are 84, plus 5 to 89. Uh, head accuracy, doesn't really matter, 72, going on to 77. Uh, defensive awareness, 84, going on 89, and stand tackle and slide tackle, 87, going on 97 apiece. Uh, it does lack in the strength category, it's only 73, but again, plus 10 in that one, but um, I did find him quite weak at times, he did get pushed off the ball a lot, he's very, very aggressive in the challenge, which is very, very beneficial, I think he's got 89 aggression, yes he does, uh, great stamina. For a fullback on this game, they need to be up and down the pitch all the time. With high, high workers, you need good stamina too. And he's definitely got that. And as you can see by the player traits, he's injury prone. Which isn't the best trait to have for a fullback on this game. Because if they go down, holding their groin, holding their hamstring, or anything like that... You're going to be counter-attacked to nothing, basically. But let's just get in the gameplay clips we got for Ansaldi. And let's showcase this right back from Foot Freeze. So on we go into the clips. Now, as a right back on this game, you're not going to see too many highlights. If I played him in a right midfielder in a 3-5-2, you would have seen lots and lots and lots of highlights. But um, even from this one game of highlights, I played four in total, but this is the one game of highlights. Um, he did really, really well. This was his debut as well. So he runs down the byline, he gets a good cross in, unlucky for, I think it was Korea. I think it was Korea coming in. Kadira's there. Uh, I would have thought the other one was Kadira. Long shots? Nah, 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 nah. I wouldn't go for any sort of straight on Ansaldi whatsoever. He fails in that category all, all over the place. So if you want to use him in a 3 5 2, uh, just beware. Attacking wise, finishing wise, cross body shots, they're not going to be that good. Nice pass down the line on his weak foot. Unfortunately, not collected by Politano in that case. Uh, we played out to the right hand side of Ansaldi. This is what Ansaldi's good at, you know, the given go. I passed it down the line once and then I gave Anagua because he's great at doing it. 
The one two is very, very effective with Ansaldi, and he does get in positions a lot to attack. His wing play is sensational at times. It's just his lack of finishing in the final third. So just watch that if you are playing a three five two as we get it to Ansaldi here. And again. It's a give and go down the lane because this is what he's really, really good at from time to time. Actually gives it away there, but wins the ball back in an advantageous situation. Swap positions with uh, Politzano in this case. Runs down the line, actually loses the ball here. Cut inside, he read that. All ends up greatly by my opponent. Uh, Pace-wise... He's very fast. You would have seen there, he didn't really get caught up until that turn because he's got 87 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. He's very fast in this game. And for a fullback to get back in a position, especially when you've got high, high work rates, you, you kind of need a uh, good pace and stuff like that. So good pace, good... Uh, Kind of positional awareness, and Saudi's got that in his locker. He definitely, definitely does. Uh, passing wise, as a winger or as a, a wide player, right back here, maybe attacking right back in a 4 1 2 1 2, or maybe a 3 5 2, like I have mentioned many, many times. Uh, yeah, you need good wing play, and he's definitely got good wing play in his, uh, in his locker, so you can definitely pull that off at all costs. This is a pass down the line here to Ansaldi. Nice little turn, and nearly walk into the guy who's already slid as well. But uh, this is great. This is the give and go. He's got the pace to run down this line all the time and uh, benefit your attack and benefit your defense. Defense wise, Great tackling, very good tackling, sensational tackling at that. Uh, he's very assured in the challenge as well. Now he's not the strongest fullback in the world. Uh, 73 strength. He's not strong in any in any sense, way, shape, mean, or form. But he's very, very aggressive. So when I say aggressive, I mean he's going in for the challenge, head down, um, balls to the wall. He will win the ball back somewhat. So his tackling goes to to 97 with the chem style attached. Look at that run down the line, lovely pass as well. Two on Saldi. I think I botched this as well. I don't do too well in this situation and I do lose the ball eventually but Ansali it was fun it was really fun he was good at getting down the line good at interplaying with the fellow players in the team you've seen one game of highlights here I played four games in total and that gives us a good summary of the card in general so with that being said let's get in the highlights this is the highlights Marshall Jesus let's get in the summary for Christian and Saldi. So there we have it, the lads, the Christian and Saldi. Now, with fullbacks, as I mentioned at the start of the highlights, it's very hard to get highlights for them if you don't force the ball to them or you don't play attack and play. And I just wanted to play my natural game there, and that's what I did around Saldi. I've got to say, he really did impress for a right back on this game. Now, it is better right backs on this game in general than a Christian and Saldi, but within Serie A, you're probably looking at Quadrado right back. You're probably looking at... Quadrado right back and Quadrado right back. Uh, there's not too many good right backs in Serie A. I don't believe so. If I'm missing anyone, I'll simply drop in the comment section below, though. But uh, Ansaldi is possibly the best right back in that division right now. And, um, yeah, I, I can definitely see why I've given an 8.8. I've given an 8.8 simply because he's fast. He's good at tackling. He's very aggressive in the challenge, even though he's not very strong. Uh, he's got good stamina for those high, high work rates. Uh, he can play versat well, versatile. He can play in a 3-5-2 as a right midfielder. He can play as a right back in a 4-1-2-1-2 or any kind of variation with a 4 at the back. And I even believe he could play CDM. A secondary CDM. I reckon this guy could play a secondary CDM in maybe, a, again, a 3-5-2 formation. So 8.8 is definitely, definitely... I don't know. It's fair for this card because there is obvious... Room for improvement. There's obvious room for improvement with Christian Ansaldi. But as a fullback, I think he is so far are nailing these SPCs because they are really, really effective players. And Ansaldi is no different to like Marquinhos. Marquinhos is cracked, by the way. Ansaldi is a very effective fullback on this game. Uh, 9.2 value for coins is what I'm going to give him. He's under 100k right now. 95,000 uh, on the Xbox and PlayStation. Give or take 2k because I think he's like 96,500. So I kind of rounded up to 95,000. Uh, enjoyment, 9.0. He helped the wing play. He helped defensively and defensively. So again... I give him his props where props are deserved. And props are definitely deserved in that sense. He played four games for me, zero goals, zero assists, but he did do very well in those matches. Uh, I did play, what, what game mode did I play? I think it was one club or one, one league. I think it was one league um, where he did play a one full match and you would have seen that full match at the highlights. In terms of pros, actually, we'll go to similar player first. It's going to be Golovin. Golovin's also got high high work rates. He's also right back. And I believe they are, can be, oh, well, I haven't tried Golovin yet, but I believe they could be very, very similar players on this game. The key pro of Ansaldi will be the pace. Uh, the other pros being the tackling, the aggression, the dribbling, the five-star weak parts. But I will say with his five-star weak foot, he elects to use his left a lot in a precarious situations where you need to pass it down the line with his right foot and use his outside of his left foot which will get on your your minds and it'll get on your um 
nerves. He'll get on your nerves. That's the word I'm looking for. And his wing player is very good as well. The key con being a strength. And that is the only con I can really find the card. Apart from his annoying... Yes, it is annoying. It's annoying uh, wants to use his left foot at all times, which I don't understand because he's right footed and he's got a five star weak foot too. Uh, best chem style would be anchor for the card. It takes him to a 90 right back, right wing back, centre back of an 89, an 88 uh, CDM and an 83 right midfielder. I think the CM's 83 too. Uh, passing is getting a seven, shooting a five, physical and dribbling are both getting an eight apiece. Lads, that's going to be it for the review of Christian Ansaldi. If you want to see... A player that's strong in him, Lazaro Martinez, you know what to do. Bring that site, let me know in the comment section below. Smash the thumbs up on the video. Like the video, which is smashing the thumbs up on the video. What am I on today? But lads, hope you have enjoyed. Hope you had a great day wherever you are in the world. And I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, smash a like. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know who you do want to review next on the channel. And as always, I will catch you all next time.